Hi everyone, this is the third video for HMS model simulation and calibration. In this video, I will demonstrate how to calibrate the HMS model simulation output with observed data. So from the previous video tutorial, we learned about these parameter values for each method, for this loss method and transfer method and this baseball method parameters need to change to calibrate the model with the observed data as well as this uh, routing method as well. So step by step, I will firstly change this carbon number method parameters. So last video, we just insert these 80 values for these carbon number values. Okay. So but we need to change the actual carbon numbers for this uh, HMS model. If you have any carbon number map for your developed watershed areas. So actually in this Yongdam Dam watershed case, I already developed with the other series of video tutorials. So you can refer to this video linked on here. I will also give these the video tutorials the link on this video's description. Okay, so if you want to create any carbon number map for your study areas, you can follow my video tutorials for creating SS carbon number grid. Okay, so as I told you, I already have this carbon number grid map. I just opened on this QGIS platform so you can find this Yongdam Dam watershed carbon number map so based on that I will use another layer to extract the values for surveying areas for that we need to open this hack HMS created the surveying shape file we already created this kind of shape file from the hack HMS model. We can export for that as a shape file. Okay. So you need to add this shape file for this sub agents. Okay. After that, if you right click and property for that, you can change this opacity with 50%. As well as this simple fill, you can change this stroke width as well. So I will just use 1.5 for that. So if you click apply, so maybe you need to change the other colors for more clearly see. So maybe this, uh, yeah, blue color would be okay. So yeah. You can see this sub agent areas uh, as well as this carbon number map. So you can extract uh, this carbon number values uh, for each sub agent areas on this QGIS main platform. Okay. So for that, we need to open this processing toolbox. So if you click this one, you can find uh, some tools for that. So I will use this uh, journal statistics tools you can search on this uh, search box as well as you can directly open with this last analysis and journal statistics uh, tool if we double click you can you need to insert some parameters for raster layer so this would be carbon of grid and another vector layer containing zones would be Surveillance, okay. So I will just uh, use this uh, prefix uh, with CN, okay. And then you can also select uh, three options for the statistical things. In this case, I just need uh, the average values for carbon numbers. So I just click this one mean things, okay. So click OK. After that, if you click this run button, you can simply get this uh, uh, surveying based carbon numbers. How to see that one? 
if you want to see that one you can open this attribute table for this surveyed area things so if you open this one you can see this surveyed all the surveyed based this carbon number mean values you can see actually i already prepared these values for insert on the hack hms program so you need to close this one but you can extract all these observation based carbon number averages with this journal statistics tool on this qgis platform okay so i'm back to this hack hms main interface and then i will paste this prepared carbon number values for each surveillance so you can see these the different values from the 80 so i just paste all these different values for that so all these detailed carbon number values i will provide the end of this video with the file with the other changed parameter values okay so don't worry about to getting this uh, values for the carbon numbers so after that you need to apply button for that and then just to reshape for the window and then at this point how about go to this result tab and see the output point graph before calibrating the model with the different values for that so I need to move on here after that if you click this computer button and then if you click this icon you can learn this model with this changed carbon numbers so if you more clearly see this the changes for that so if you click this one you can find uh, yes this uh, different uh, simulated uh, hydrograph with this carbon numbers okay so basically it is not well matched with the observed data okay from the previous uh, initial the parameter values so at this point also you need to check this summary table so if you can see this summary table you can find many different uh the statistical values on here so you can find this uh, nashi circlip values as well as percent bias and rmsc standard deviation as well this nash circlip value would be quite low this uh, optimal value would be just one so we need to uh, change these values more higher values so just close this one after that i will change this impervious percent with all the surveying things so if you reshape this one as well and i will disuse this value with three five percent with the impervious in that case this hydrograph will be more getting more matched with this observed data because this impervious areas will make more run-up generation okay so if you click and fill with the repeat first value you can use after that apply as well and then just to learn again this one so you can find the different uh, simulated hydrograph as well on here so i will finish these changes of the loss method in this point after that i will also use uh, this uh, transform method the clock unit hydrograph parameters i will also use uh, to change so on here if you just to use five hours for that you need to test for that with the repeat first value 
fly and if you learn the model you can find more dragged hydrograph for that so actually i will use the, this uh, time of concentration would be 3.5 one to calibrate the model so if you this repeat first value with 3.5 apply and if you run the model yes you can find more matched the hydro wrap i will use another value as well so i will also finish using this clock transform method on here so after that if you click this routing method with masking a value i will also change these values from the 0 0.5 to 0 0.1 so if we just change these values with 0 0.1 so you can if you learn this model you can also see this not very ragged because this machine gun k changes this peak point with the time so again i will change this machine gun k with 0 0.25 so again select all this table then fill with the repeat first value with 0 0.25 apply and then if you run the model yes you can clearly see match with the, this peak point okay so at this point i need to change some this recession part with the base plottings so go to these parameters and then this base plot recession I will change this recession also with the different values. So let's see. I will not change all the this initial discharge and recession constant, but I will change this ratio to peak. So I will change from 0 0.4 to 0 0.35. So let's see how it can change the hydrograph shape so fill with this one then apply and run so you can see more matched with this recession part with the changes of base flow but in this part maybe some the precipitation on here for the simulation of this run of hydrograph but the actual data could not catch this kind of the precipitation based simulation things so i will stop this the calibration of model so relatively i just satisfied with this kind of the calibration result so at this point if you go back to this summary table you can see this nash circle lip value would be over 0.9 so this would be relatively good matches uh, with this observed and simulated uh, run of hydrograph. Also, if you click this uh, residual flow, you can find this error things from this observed data and this simulated run of flow the hydrograph things. Okay. So all these uh, calibrated uh, parameter values I will provide. Uh, on the my github repository with the calibrated parameters you can find the link for getting that kind of parameter values on this video's description you can find i will provide that kind of description to find my github repository okay so at this point please save all the processed project work with this save button okay so in this video, I have made a hack HMS model calibration with the changes of parameter values for each method in hack HMS to get well-matched fluid runoff hydrograph with observed stream flow data.
Actually, in this video tutorial, I only used one averaged precipitation input data and one gauge flow observation per watershed outlet point. So if you have multiple data per rainfall and flow over the watershed, then more complicated processes to calibrate model should be considered. This ends the Hack HMS model simulation and calibration tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.